Hey all you party roasters, welcome back to another episode of Mill City's Roast Alongs. We are going to be pushing the limits on the 2 kilo digital benchtop roaster by transferring a 300 gram profile to a 2300 gram profile. We're going to start with the 300 gram profile as our part one in this two part video. We've already brought our machine up to temp. We're going to bring down our temp to 335 on our PID. Going to bring it way down for a low charge. Sometimes we need to do a smaller batch to get to our larger batch size because we don't have a profile for it quite yet. So we're going to start with the 300 gram to try and give us that idea, almost like a sample roast, but some with some tweaking. We're looking to hit green to yellow around 5, 516. Um, looking to just shoot for just kind of like a 50, 30, 20, splitting up our phases to kind of have a starting point. So without further ado, let's dive in. Settings here, we have our airflow set to low, uh, which right now is 26 hertz on our machine here. We have our drum speed set to 52 rotations per minute, um, which comes out to around 13 rotations in 15 seconds when you're doing that hard count on the shaft. Remember, hertz and your dial for drum speed do not directly correlate. We have to look at that shaft and do the hard count and then multiply to get our rotations per minute. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this batch in the hopper. 335, charge. And our plan here, we're gonna do a long soak to kind of, again, some equilibrium, similar to doing a small batch on any any roaster. Small batches with that large amount of heat are just gonna, you're gonna take off like a train without brakes. Um, but at this instance, we're gonna kind of come to an equilibrium, give it enough heat to kind of give it a longer profile of about 10 and a half to 11 minutes. So we are going to stretch out this 300 gram to have a well-balanced profile. So we're gonna be doing a very long soak. So we're coming up on about 120 here in the soak process. At, at 130, I'm gonna turn the ignition back on. We get that little delay for the ignition to pop on. So really it's gonna hit at about 135 once that flame is on. So 130 here on the profile, ignition on. Here we're at 140. Our PID temp is at 252. Bean temp is at 254. Very close, very, very tight environment that we got going on here. A gas pressure is uh, set to 500 pascals. And we're just gonna kind of ride that out with that low, that low airflow right now. Three minutes into our roast, we're sitting at 270. Um, ROR is still ramping up here. So we're kind of taking in all that data. We're about to hit our peak here around four minutes as we um, continue to increase in temperature. I found that I was hitting dry end and then kind of, you know, taking off. And I tried, you know, doing a lot of things like controlling, um, you know, a little bit of a higher charge temp and then kind of ramping down in gas. Um, gas with air combinations, static air with only um, uh, variable gas. And nothing seemed to work out until I kind of just was like, well, let's just, let's just be a little extreme. Let's just have kind of treat it almost similar to like a sample roast. We have static gas that kind of gives us enough heat application and then utilize air to kind of balance that around the roaster. Not so much air that we're adding too much convection, um, but just enough that gets our phases stretched out a little bit here. Coming up on around 300 degrees, so we should be getting our green to yellow transition very shortly. Uh, much more carby. So I just marked green to yellow, we hit it at 455. Um, a little faster than expected, but we're still gonna ride it out, kind of try and split up that 50, 30, 20 profile. I should say right off the bat that this, uh, this profile isn't gonna work for every coffee, but you can certainly try it out. If a two kilo digital is your only machine that you have available, this is some uh, sampling just to get an idea of some of your coffees without having to do a full pound. Um, worst case scenario, you push from 300 grams to 400 grams for certain coffees. So we've upped our airflow from 26 hertz to 27 hertz, going from like a low to kind of like a low medium. Um, not going to be too aggressive with that heat right now with, um, with how little gas pressure we have applied to the roaster right now. 
sitting at about 12 uh, ROR per minute. All right, now we're starting to roll into first crack. I got 363 on my PID, 349 on my bean temp. I'm gonna up air another little bit, puts us at around a medium airflow. Lighter trick is always available for you to test out your airflow. All right, very good. And we still have static gas pressure sitting at around 500 pascals. And some good chocolate, floral, citrus, um, sitting at 920. We're 50 seconds into development. Gonna up airflow once more as we get to the end of the row. So we'll round like a medium to medium high, somewhere in between there. And that'll be my final air adjustment. Still keeping my gas pressure static. So dry time is gonna be a little bit shorter than expected, but I'm still gonna stay the course. Um, we're at around 49% dry, 35% mid phase, 17% development. Overall, looking for a finish temp around 394 on the PID. Some good smells, even color here. All right, I think that's good. So 10.47 end time. Our phases ended up at 48.32.20. So overall, pretty close. But it's a good starting point for us to transfer that up batch size that we're going to do in our next video.